Good evening and welcome to the channel's studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. One person has died and 21 people have been injured in a shooting in Missouri at the end of the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl victory parade. <laughs> Officials said they treated eight victims who were in immediately life-threatening condition and seven others who had suffered injuries that could prove life-threatening. Nine children were among the wounded. All are expected to recover. Police said they have arrested three suspects in connection to the shooting. At least 21 people were struck by gunfire, one of whom is dead, and three individuals were arrested. It, it was just a reaction. He was, he was running against the wrong way and there was another gentleman saying you know just screaming out, out of the top of his lung you know catch this guy tackle him and i heard him and i really wasn't for sure until he he came running and i had a perfect angle to do what i did and i did what i did you know i took him i took him down i'm angry at what happened today. The people who came to this celebration should expect a safe environment. We had over 800 law enforcement officers, Kansas City and other agencies, at the location to keep everyone safe. Because of bad actors, which were very few, this tragedy occurred. The Israeli military says it is carrying out a precise and limited mission in NASA hospital in Khan Yunus. The Israel Defense Forces says it has credible intelligence, including from released hostages, that Hamas held hostages at the hospital in southern Gaza. It adds that it has apprehended a number of suspects after earlier claiming that terrorists appear to have been operating from within the hospital too. Gaza's Hamas-run health ministry says Israel forced people to leave, as well as using a bulldozer to demolish a wall and turn the hospital into a barracks. At least four people have been killed in an air attack on the Russian city of Belgorod. That's according to Russian media. Another 10 people are said to have been wounded in the strike not far from the Ukrainian border. Videos circulating on social media showed several ambulances parked outside a heavily damaged shopping centre with shattered windows. France says it will host a conference in Paris in April to raise aid for war-torn Sudan. Stéphane Sejourn said the dramatic humanitarian situation there should not be forgotten. Thousands of people have been killed since the war broke out last year between the Sudanese army and the paramilitary rapid support forces. The UN says more than six million people are displaced and more than half of the population require assistance. The first U.S. lunar mission in half a century has blasted off from Florida. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. The SpaceX rocket is carrying a landing vehicle the size of a telephone box. It's due to travel to the lunar south pole. If everything goes to plan, it should land in nine days' time. Prince Harry has attempted sit skiing whilst visiting the training camp for next year's Invictus Games in Canada. <laughs> The Duke here enjoying the slopes and his wife Meghan visited the training camp for the 2025 Invictus Games in Whistler, British Columbia. The Duke founded the Games in 2014 for injured and sick military personnel. And an undercover policeman in a teddy bear costume has shown up at a house of an alleged drug dealer bearing a fake gift as part of an operation on Valentine's Day in Lima in Peru. Footage supplied by the National Police Agency shows one woman leaving the house before she is pinned down by police. <laughs> Police found a bag containing what was alleged to be drugs under a mattress inside. Two women were arrested at the end of the raid. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel's studios in Lagos.